tried and true. And begin the timer now. So yes, Castlevania 4. This is, of the old school Castlevania games, this one is probably the easiest to play normally, but it is possibly the hardest to speed run. Bloodlines gives it a run for its money, I will give it that, but this is up there in any case. What do you prefer, original Castlevania or Castlevania 4? Definitely 4. Um, 3 is still my favorite Castlevania and my favorite NES game period, but 4 is not very far behind on the Castlevania list. Both just have amazingly strong soundtracks and level designs, some creative ideas throughout. Um, you'll see some in this game. The music in this game, it also has a number of tracks that aren't what you'd expect from a Castlevania, and they're quite good. Including perhaps my personal favorite. Is that That would be so, Cypher. So, um, this is the same process of leveling up my sub-weapon that you saw in the other games. And in this one, the cross is king, without a doubt. Holy Water is drastically toned down, it doesn't stunlock enemies nearly as well, it doesn't do as much damage as in 3. So, the cross also can hit bosses like multiple times per cross often. So... This is another thing you're seeing, by the way. Another big difference in 4. Damage boosting, you travel faster than your normal walking speed, which is not the case in uh, most other games. So that makes things real interesting for a speed run, as you often run your health down pretty far. Let's see if I can hit these. There we go. Those are some of the trickier damage boosts to pull off, but they only do one damage. So you can run, you can, uh, run them no matter how far you run your life down by this point pretty much. And you also have to jump right after the boost or else you'll fall through those and be without a cross. Let's see if I can get the boss. This one's one of the trickier ones to set up. No. Alright, alright. Whatever. Uh, I, did, I, I got the horse quick kill right, just uh, I did, couldn't catch all the crosses. Um... Oh, and the game has much better win poses than this available, <laughs> as you'll see. Now the next level is probably the easiest and not a whole lot to say, so if you want to do anything more with donations, uh, right, this would yeah. be a good time. Okay, let's keep going with that then. Ten dollars from Mark Thyssen. Congrats to Funk Dog and Qureshi for an amazing Pianovania run. Put my money towards Pokemon Red, the superior version. Boo! Oh. Boo! <laughs> Blue all the way. Blue all the way. He says Scyther is a boss, like... We don't go anywhere near Scythe's in the chat's asking how old you are. Um, I am actually a 26, soon to be 27, and um, I will be uh, graduating from college finally this semester and uh, hopefully heading into grad school from there, so we'll see how things go for uh, that and future marathons, but I'll try to make it work. Uh, $50 from Christopher Yearly. Excellent entertainment. Piano accompaniment on Castlevania confirmed I had to give you all the money in my wallet. 50 to sing the Pokemon theme song. <laughs> Thank you for your donation. I know, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, I was hoping they'd mean right now. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Not quite. 15 from James Moth. 5 from Harry Sanders. Thanks for what you're doing, really appreciate it. We really appreciate all your donations, guys. Dollars twenty-four from Andre Schultz. Mad props to jo Josh the Funk Dog and the Piano Guy. I love how the Piano Guy doesn't have a name in most of these comments. <laughs> That's Kureshi, by the way. He's not only a great pianist, but also he really just destroyed the hell out of Ghosts and Goblins and Super Ghouls and Ghosts earlier. Um, towards CB3 Cypher. Hmm. Medusa, ladies and gentlemen. Medusa is always the hardest really? boss. Yeah. No matter what gets me in the game. I think in Portrait of Rune, it actually tried to almost be a fight because you get, like, petrified when she looks at you. 
her when you when you uh, look at her around. No bush of ruin is still probably like some spell that just kills her instantly anyway. <laughs> it's a pretty quick bite, yeah. Okay, uh, five from Mark Murphy. Forgot to add that my previous 20 was meant to go towards Alucard and Soden. I guess you can add this five to that as well. Uh, $10 from if below. Ten from Nicholas Allen. Put this towards DKC2. I got a crash. Keep up the good work all. Also, very nice pl piano playing. Castlevania is one of the all time classics of video game music. I love the soundtrack of this game personally. Like yeah. I've, I've yeah. not even played it, but I've watched Josh's run and the soundtrack's just really, really good. Cool. This is probably the for Castlevania. Oh, and his run's not bad either. <laughs> <laughs> Ten dollars from nine fifty. Wow. 29 from oh. GM Fillmore. Great playing during Castlevania 1, both the gaming and the piano. Enjoying the marathon. You guys are doing an awesome job. Thanks. And I just have one real small announcement to make. Small? Yeah, really small. <laughs> okay. Really small announcement. And that is that. Our donation total is $60,000. $243.52. Yeah! Oh god! That was all good, <laughs> When I went to sleep, Look, you almost killed Funk Dog with how much you've done. Hype has over. distracted me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you have no idea how much pain that was. Yeah, I'm so good. <laughs> There's still so much uh, we've got a comment from uh, Frederick Anderson who says, uh, this, uh, Here we go, big trick coming up. There yeah, you go. Almost. Oh God! There you, go. yeah. Yeah. you know what? You know what's funny? That may have still been faster than going around the normal way. <laughs> it is a pretty big time saver. So Frederick Anderson said this is for DKC2. Also, please give the Castlevania piano player a high five for me. Was that this $30 here? <laughs> okay, he only donated for five. This is the one that's off my list. <laughs> 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 might be not. Might be later on. <laughs> so wait, Frederick Anderson? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, it's a different one. No, it's not. Yes, I got it! Nice. Okay, nice. nice. I'll put, I'll put meat right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to assume that. That's one of the hardest damage boosts in the game. That is true. Easier than the whip ring trick. That is a three frame window on that one. But the big risk with it is if you are too late on the, that trick and you uh, you fall to your death and completely whiff the ring. So that's why I was taking it safe there. Um, uh, we have $30 from Frederick Anderson, which didn't have a comment on it. Oh, you sure? I thought you said it was 842? 8.48. Oh, the timestamp, right. I thought you said 842 and that was sort of a donation. That's moonwalking, oh. by the way. Oh, moonwalking. There'll be plenty of that. Oh, yeah. Fuck dog for no reason. Indeed. Oh, hit those jumps in the first try. Those are really tricky. Faster way of going up here. So. Ten dollars from Shane Hill. Shout outs to Funk Dog, Polarity, and Piano Venue. Put this ten dollars toward a visit to the Sunken City. That's how far behind I am, by the way. Speed read. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little bit of the Sunken City there. I'll give that one an eight. That's pretty solid, right there. Oh man, there's so much better wind poses. Oh, Ron, you need to rain yeah. pose from now That on. wind pose makes it look like the ball's about to come back and hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Ten for a familiar face around here, John D'Souza. Uh-oh. Marathon has been awesome so far. 
And even in the past two hours since I woke up, I saw PJ be awesome, Koreshi be clutch, and awesome piano band. Which I was there, definitely next year. This team goes to Justin in the same team. Hi, bro. And 10 from Richard Davey. Awesome piano playing, deserves a donation. Definitely did. One dollar for Corey Thomas. Good luck, Funter. Good luck, Sweet Rain Castlevania. And you do it right. Good luck to all the runners. There we go. Oh, here we go. Puexel. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Puexel. Didn't even get to show my trademark. <laughs> He just sticks his tongue out like ridic and it's a ridiculously long tongue too. If it makes you feel any better, you can't die in soap. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I love the big tongue. That's a little semi out of bounds. Fun thing is you can hang on this wall for quite a while as you can see. <laughs> but the problem with that is if you stay on too long, spikes will actually pop out of it and kill you. <laughs> that is awesome. I learned this, this the is hard the way. Best strat. Yeah. <laughs> Doing this East Coast style. Exactly <laughs> Sit there you. and lame it out. <laughs> yes, I like how they're actually running into my leg at times. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> this part, um, the only thing here is if you swing all the way as low as possible, you'll actually run into the spikes. So. Oh, I see. A lot of people have probably done that one. Yeah. from Matthew McKittrick. Great SG and G race and great event overall. I'd love to see them. all the little bits of expertise people have in so many games. Put me in for the Castlevania for us and to avoid that challenge front door place. Which we'll put to San City. It's best so futuristic. Yes, th this level, I forgot to mention, this is the tech demo level. Yeah. This is where Konami just threw in all their yeah, Mode 7 at once, basically. Mm -hmm. This being the uh, crown like jewel. That is Build level. For the record, this is the guy who uh, ran Jim Power in 3D, so it's really oh, difficult. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Jim Power, the lost dimension in 3D. <laughs> My apologies. In that case, we should change it in Bink as level 7. That was the only season. Do you want to talk about the past zips? Yes. Uh, there are some uh, zips that, that are similar to the Mega Man 2 ones you saw earlier. Um, and. The tool assisted speed run uses these in a number of places. They are simply not practical for a real run. They are way harder and way riskier than any of the Mega Man zips, basically. Can you actually pull them off in real time, like not in a marathon setting? Uh, highly doubtful. It's very much frame specific on where you have to go, and it's a lot easier to die on them. This, this boss, um, this is actually one of the riskier bosses in terms of health, but being full, I'll be okay. I'm surprised they put this guy so early in the game, honestly. Damn, that last picture was off. Okay, now for the real <laughs> boss, the pose. <laughs> 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 I give it like a seven. Okay. Um, Dang, Rob okay. is harsh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I really like what he's going for. After it's like I've he's trying to catch the cross that's coming down. Maybe. This is th oh, this level is definitely donation time. <laughs> All right. Um, right now, I'm just about to draw the winner for the Castlevania three pearlers. Mm. One last look at those before we. Oh, the, oh, oh they got all show them as well. Yeah. Well, no, it's a set. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Which I didn't realize till just now. <laughs> no, I, I didn't realize there was that either. Yeah. <laughs> Got a uh, Trevor Grant and Saifa. Trevor Grant and Saifa? Alucard. This is totally Trevor, by the way. How much Can't tell. Gotten Ron Scout? <laughs> like like Alucard. Either, so. <laughs> For you to screw that up is something special. Oh, I did just wake up, kind of. End of CV3. Um, okay, it's taking. This is bad. He was in your living room that you were. Oh, is he not merch or something? No, no, no. 
Oh, oh, that is it. That's where he's doing the merge. Okay, so just give a second and we'll have the winner up and the I can't even look alongside to see the prizes because I won't be able to. Oh. Yeah, I won't be able to select that. <laughs> Just over, yeah. Just back 60. Nice. What did that dog ever do to you? You could have just jumped over. It's a zombie dog. It has rabies. I couldn't pet him and say nice boy. What else? What other option did I have? <laughs> and the bats, like the bats are your friends. So rats. You don't have to damage you that much. But don't forget that creepy bonus room. Uh, oh, the bonus that? room. Yes. Not going to be seen during this run, most likely, but. Yeah, bonus rooms. They're pretty special. The background is always so intense. Alright, so we finally have a winner for the Castlevania 3 draw, and it is Matthew McKittrick. So congratulations, those three are all yours. Uh, okay, $10 from Stan last. I can't remember if I just some Also playing on both piano and NES. Definitely very true. One of my favorite damage boosts coming up here. There we go. Mm. Yeah. I actually saw him miss that, so it's at least uh, kind of tricky compared no, to walking. The chandelier actually hits you after the bounce, right? Yeah. Or no, it doesn't. Um, you use the boost to get the invincibility to go through the chandelier. The bat boosts you into that. Uh, Cross placement here took oh, me a while to learn right. at first. That's the next game. Yeah, okay. So for this dragon dodge, yeah. He's in the other room. Very nice. Alright, All right. so yeah, the next game is Castlevania Aria of Sorrow, and our run of Dragon Dark is actually prepared two different versions of that run. Um, so you can either do any percent, which is basically just straight to the final boss, or something like that. Yeah, yeah he, it's fight, really short. he fights one boss beforehand, or two bosses actually, just to basically get better stats, so he actually does damage to the final boss, but yeah. And the other one is going through all the bosses. Pretty low on that, but uh, all bosses is winning $40 to nothing. <laughs> Shut out. If you want to see a really quick run, donate now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know if we've mentioned this in a while, but um, we have a t shirt sale, oh, sale going on with the Yeti.com, and um, today is the last day you can buy this t shirt for $11. And um, three of the eleven dollars uh, goes towards the Fred Cancer Foundation. And yeah. Speaking of that, have we mentioned what, who we are um, recently? I don't think we have. Uh, okay, oh, yeah, so yeah. this is uh, Speed Demos Archive, uh, premier speedrunning website, and this is Awesome Games Done Quick 2012. Almost said awful, but that's over now. And <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> and we are uh, yeah exactly, and we are raising donations for the Prevent Cancer Foundation, a great charity uh, dedicated to preventing cancer through research, education, and outreach. I love this table enemy. <laughs> and we've raised over sixty thousand dollars in said donations for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Well, on our way to our new goal of eighty thousand, we'll fund an entire research grant for PCO. Wow. It's not most creative enemies in general. Tables, dancing goats. And Paula Abghul and Fred Scare. Uh, I really <laughs> wish you had made her. I'm just saying, there's uh, evil chairs and tables at Monster Party. <laughs> <laughs> Those are dead crafts. Yeah. Well, it's not anything. So yes, Paula Abghul and Fred Scare. Thank you, Konami of America. But by the way, the same people also in the manual for Castlevania 3 call the swamp level the murky marsh of morbid morons. <laughs> <laughs> the clock tower's name is good, too. Yeah, but really make something Ultra J-Man would have come up with. <laughs> yeah, really make sure to get across that dark, scary motif that they're aiming for. Um, okay, $10 from Toothache. Toothache here, chipping in for the awesome Castlevania prizes. This is more money towards the name of Kate Sith that Django Fett. Keep being awesome is all for great jobs. So, um, 
Tom Polino. The guy who made some of our amazing prizes, including the Grand Prize Master Sword, is here. And, uh, Yeah, we pulled that last night. So, uh, if you can donate, um, the buy-in for this is $30, but you can technically buy up to, like, three raffle tickets, I guess you could say, um, for up to $90 if you want a slightly better chance to win this sword. I don't know how well this is appearing on camera. Yeah, and this is a cumulative throughout the marathon yeah. donations. Yeah, this is throughout the entire marathon, not just during the Zelda games. Yes, it's a Tom Polino. Is it Tom Dot Polino? Yeah, Tom Dot Polino Dot Metal. Hey, Tom Dot Polino Dot Metal at Gmail Dot Com. If you want to commission him for it. Now, getting quality work like this does uh, cost a bit of money, so uh, don't expect it to be cheap. Not trying to scare you, just trying to make things realistic. Yeah, he just wanted a moonwalk one. Yeah. Here we go. Those bunches of bats are pretty difficult to deal with, and it's not completely consistent because sometimes they can overlap each other, and the cross can only hit one in that case. That's a general issue with this game: is anytime there's two objects like right on top of each other, a uh, whip or a projectile can only hit one of them. Um, to answer, um, the blade is not sharp at all. It's specifically made dull. It's merely or ornamental. Still pretty heavy, though. That means it'll just take longer to be hit somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, $5 from Matthew Kuhn who says, Holy cow, I want to ask if Koreshi will... Oh, wait. I want to ask if Koreshi will be playing any more piano this marathon. I had my fingers crossed for those pearls. Put wow. this towards Sunken City. Looking forward to more awesome games done quick. There's about three days more of it still, so... Lots more to look forward to. Like you literally have like an hour of things to this. I got a lot and I haven't refreshed in a while. It's a bit scary stuff. <laughs> Next level is uh, probably the scariest one of the run and it's the level that everyone I've I know like seems to remember from this game. <laughs> That damage boost is the safest way to get through that part, actually. But yeah, the big issue with this level, if you haven't figured it out, is um, just about everything you see here is instant death. Anything with spikes on it, pretty much. Check this out. I wait until the acid drop appears and I pick up the rosary. Normally there's a second bone dragon behind that first one, but with the acid drop appearing, overflows the sprite limit, so the second bone dragon never appears. Which is good, because he's in a really bad spot. Yes, didn't get trolled by that guy. Remember what to do now. That that guy was a problem for me in practice runs. He would knock me off the bridge, and that is not fun. I think happens. everything just said would be a problem for you in practice runs. This game. Yeah. Best that it gets it out of the way in practice runs, though. Definitely. I think they dumped that double KO on the Cool yeah, damage boost in this part. That's my favorite damage boost on the run. Still got the disappearing platforms, right? Yes, yeah. but I'm not going to boost through them, but they're there. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got one more coming up. The skills in the background chilling. Dancing. Now, are they true random, or is it how fast you get there? I think it's how, it's how fast you get there, although it's tr also random. And I, um, well, let's see here. Well, yes! <laughs> I can randomly die there for, like, no good reason yeah. if I get a bad pattern. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> you gotta put all the weight in this game. Oh, repeat. I think you're gonna repeat. I'm not even gonna rate that. <laughs> Dang. Um, <laughs> you get one of those ones where he's like this, you're like, 
you know, putting it behind his head. Uh, five dollars from Aaron Ritter. I admit that this one is for the loot. Pearl is an eight. Please place five towards animal abandonment in Super Metroid. <laughs> I've said this before, but like, <coughs> we've saved the animals every Super Metroid time. We are prepared for good people. It's about time they die. We are the I'm not sure if people are. <laughs> I feel like in the spirit of charity, we have to make sure that they get saved. No, we just don't bother. Uh, yeah, they get safe there. This is my favorite level in the game. My favorite music, just my favorite design all around. It's just the whole thing is very not Castlevania in a good way. Those ghosts in the background. They do some pretty cool stuff of their own. Uh, if you pause, they just keep on moving anyway. Hey, can I put a donation down? Yeah, sure. If you rather like it when Cast Bane says to be a little Negative more colorful. Oh. Super Negative to Super C. Okay. So I think that means you have to raise the limits. Yeah. I, I don't know. So, okay, Hyvin's donating 20 against okay. low percent? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> If everything's getting done, I want to make sure it's not So far we've raised zero out of one thousand of the weapon of super C. So there you go. <laughs> now we, now we there have, we go. One thousand zero, zero out of one thousand twenty. One, yes. Still, it helps. That extra point is gonna be what matters. It helps. Yes. That boost there is not quite as scary as it yeah. looks. You have a good amount of boost. Make sure it goes to the big That's crazy, guys. Okay, we've also got ten dollars from Kevin Jupe. That's his name. Which means I can get through it faster. Alright, and we are nearing uh, the hardest boss in the game, or one of the hardest at any rate. However, I should hopefully get a good fight for you on him. This one's been a source of amusement in practice runs. Yeah, you're going to still force the screen shakes. Now, you're purposely attacking a fast with dust and fog, right? Oh god. Perfect. Oh wow, he bunched up real nice. All right. There we go. Oh my god, that was a lot. Yeah. That's a waste of nine. Pretty good. Uh, 10 dollars from Ben Banson. No comments. This is from... That's from an hour. Epic Wiz. And now we're nearing the end of the game, and this is where we start getting into the uh, remixes for music. Uh, it's a no this is the, honestly my favorite of those, and the only one of this game's remixes that I really like. I love this version of Bloody Tears. This is a, uh, this is my favorite version of it. I think it's good that Rondo blood that Yeah, Rondo blood. Well, it's it's also a CD. <laughs> yeah, I like well, the I direction know. they went with it, like more orchestral yeah. than the obviously yeah, the yeah, chip chips. Really cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I meant to throw the cross the other way, but hey. Um, hearts are at kind of a premium in this level. This is another level where. Um, if you make a mistake, it's generally going to be your life. There we go. That part is scary too. That gear can just magically warp you backwards and off the edge. Wow. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I'm gonna basically have, like, you just falling off and hitting you in the spirit usually, like, you can just block them and they don't do anything. And for Aria of Sorrow, we're still sitting at 40 all bosses, 0 any, and for his Infinity of the Nights, uh, 599, we're here at 445 dollars. Oh god, the, oh, the lag in this part is horrible. So what was the difference there between Richter and Alucard? $150. That's, that's not insurmountable. So, Here we go. So Here's my uh, old school strat for dealing with this guy. I figured this out when I was younger, actually. So, yeah, if you Always just all... barely misses. <laughs> if you want to hear all those Soten mains that you've heard over and over again, vote for Alucard now. <laughs> well, you want to get rid of them because you skip them. Yeah, I skip off. <laughs> Yeah, we oh god, okay. Ones. This could be scary. Yeah, he's doing the worst possible thing to start. Uh, please warp in the corner. Oh, wow. oh god. Oh, that sucks. Wow. <laughs> First time I've ever had to gotten a three loop on That's that guy in forever, but. Well, had to have that marathon walk at some point, so yeah. she could get this game. <laughs> okay. Well, I That's your best one so far, I think. I like that close. Jumping fistball. Yeah. Okay. Ten dollars from Timothy Trichel. Great to see Funk Dogs Castlevania 101 class in session again. <laughs> Also put ten dollars to Richter Soden. Shoutouts to Geese Tower and SNK Play More. Oh wow, that's uh, different. Although the thing is, with that trick, you are never going to fall through the stairs. That's another thing I forgot to mention, by the way. Jumping through stairs is extremely finicky in this game. Um, there's sub-pixel positioning involved, and if you're in the wrong place, you'll just fall right through the stairs. And even if you jump into the exact same spot, you'll randomly appear on one of two different subpixels. But even with all that, that is still a safe trick that I did to start this level. Uh, $25 from Alex Gola, which is 33333, three, 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 so I'm guessing that's all the parts. Yes! Mm -hmm. That jump is scary because you only get one chance at it because the stairs crumbling. You're just forced to kill yourself if you miss it. Wow. This session sold me so much on the screen Oh god, this guy appeared early. I just have no choice but to do that. Yeah, there's definitely some randomness to this part, although not the scary kind, at least. Oh, hey, this that was wow, that was wow. Time. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a line of that. <laughs> now I just gotta chill here, because I need to save my hearts, especially after uh, that last uh, golem there. Yeah, I mean the Wonder Twins are coming up pretty soon. And cheers the trick speed boost across. <laughs> That's that can never crush you from what I can tell. Hearts are gonna be a little bit iffy by uh, Dracula time. We'll see. Anyway, this is the fight that people complain about the most of these, and it's not because of this phase. Oh, this phase is nothing. The real fight hasn't started yet. That'll just be a couple more hits here. Can you dash in the first phase? No. no well, no, I think he has a dashing spear move. I think it's like the only fight where holy water is <laughs> beneficial. The mummy also. Okay. Uh, to a lesser extent, of course. He's being extremely nice. Normally, sometimes... Yeah, that beak charge? There we go. You have to have crazy oh, yeah. timing to jump over those. Uh, it says it twice in a row. Yeah, when he does it twice in a row, I just pretty much can't dodge it. Yeah, the double one is impossible to dodge if he does two right after landing. The one, though, yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, and you can't just whip him again right away when he lands. He's got an invincibility period. Let's see if I can get this. Um... Okay. 
There we go. That there was still go. good. That's pretty, that's fast. pretty good. Yeah. This one's kind of good. good on hearts. Ten medals from Luca Ben. Dracula says, "What a terrible night for a funk dog." <laughs> oh. <laughs> that game. People keep asking why we're not running Castlevania 2. <laughs> uh, do they really need to ask? Apparently they do, because they keep asking. I like it's, Castlevania 2. It's, it's not a horrible game, but it's like not good for... No, no, it's horrible. I just like it. <laughs> it's not good for a live There we go. Wow, that was a good Too much grinding. <laughs> 20 from Yu Jung Chang, who says, Funk Dog X Davis for life. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Always gotta rep the Duke. Really good job building up this fight. Skipping the meat that's meat in that candle, but who needs that? Ignore the fact that I have full health. And also, my hearts are back to good shape now for this. This Dracula is definitely uh, easier than one or even threes. Wow, the spawns. At least I'm getting meat out of it. Okay, that was still pretty good. Alright. Be in there now. Yes! Yeah, but he played like super safe compared to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. so that's what Manly doesn't need pants. <laughs> <laughs> 